good afternoon uh, participants thanks for joining uh, the webinar on my gov uh, mr Ga gaurav divedi is uh, about to join thanks and uh, we will like to have a wonderful session with you thank you very much Gracias. 
Good afternoon, participants. We are going to start the session in a few minutes. Just for the sake of uh, clarity in the audio, please uh, text me back in the uh, chat box if the audio is clear. Good afternoon, participants. Welcome to the webinar on MyGov, and a very interesting and very relevant topic of uh, current uh, scenario of our country. And I'm very uh, glad and very you know, privileged to introduce the speaker of today's webinar session, Sri Gaurav Divedi. Sir, he is an IAS officer from uh, Chhattisgarh Cadre, and he is a recipient of uh, Prime Minister's Award for Excellence in Administration. He has a multiple uh, credentials uh, with him. Along with that, he is also a member of uh, IAS Training Academy. He is currently posted as a CEO of MIGO and also holding the additional charge of Chief Operating Officer of National League Governance Division, which primarily looks into the deployment of uh, Digital India programs. We'll have, we're hoping that have a wonderful and uh, excellent session. Uh, over to you, sir. Good afternoon, friends. I am uh, very happy to be here with you uh, today to talk about uh, this particular initiative called MyGov. Uh, as uh, many of you may already be aware, MyGov is uh, among the Government of India's uh, major programs today. The idea being that uh, citizen engagement uh, is uh, something which uh, must be promoted. Citizens' participation in the governance process uh, must not be a one-off activity which they do once in a while, but on a day-to-day -day basis, people should be aware of what the government is doing. They should be able to give their feedback, their point of view, their perspective, their suggestion uh, to the government. And the government must find ways to incorporate uh, these inputs that are coming in from citizens so that the policies and programs that are implemented by the government are uh, adequately reflective of what is it that the people of the country want. MyGov, uh, uh, again, uh, some of you may already be aware, MyGov is uh, now about to complete uh, three years. It was launched uh, in July of 2014 uh, by the Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji. And uh, ever since uh, that time in July 2014, MyGov has been uh, part of many of the major initiatives of the government of India trying to ensure that uh, the people of the country are fully involved in whatever it is uh, that the government is doing for them. The way that we will structure this presentation is that uh, I will have a small uh, PowerPoint and this PowerPoint uh, I'm sure will also be available to you uh, later on the uh, system. So you can always come back and take a look at it. But more importantly, uh, in, the, in the presentation itself, I will very briefly touch upon the different things that MyGov does. And uh, if time permits uh, towards the end, then uh, maybe we can have about uh, 10 minutes or so uh, for taking questions uh, related to MyGov. I was looking at uh, some of the participants who've uh, already started uh, putting in questions. Some of these questions are uh, about uh, issues that do not directly pertain to MyGov. So my request would be that when you uh, do send in your questions or queries, try to keep them uh, limited to the scope of what MyGov is doing because uh, I would be able to, of course, authoritatively answer only the questions about the work that I am doing. 
so uh, we'll start with the presentation now can you please bring it on <coughs> Okay, thank you. Uh, the presentation is uh, now starting. Uh, before we start with this presentation, of course, uh, I would uh, assume that many of you are already aware of uh, the different kinds of social media that are in existence today, uh, whether it is Facebook, whether it is Twitter, microblogging sites, uh, news sites, video sharing, photo sharing. There are multiple different social media and many of you must already uh, be using many of these media. So MyGov, uh, in, in a sense, is uh, a movement in that direction. And if you look at the way that the government's uh, websites and interaction online with the citizens has evolved over a period of time, you can broadly see three trends. The first uh, trend was uh, starting sometime in the 90s, where uh, many ministries, where many uh, departments and other government organizations started coming up with their websites. These websites were typically uh, only information disseminating in nature. So some of the prominent information about the ministry or the government uh, would be given there and people could uh, maybe download that or take a look at it online. But beyond that, there was very little that people could do about it. The second uh, level of uh, improvement was when the government started offering e-governance services. And uh, these e-governance services are something that many of you must have also used whether it's an online application for a passport or applying for a driving license or uh, applying for a certificate of some sort. So these online services and the related grievance redress uh, activities were part of the second level of evolution. But as social media started evolving in the middle, say early to middle part of last decade, the interactive element became much more important. And at this point of time, the whole idea, the whole concept of web 2.0 also became uh, very, very prominent where uh, people felt that it was not only necessary to be able to access a particular website, but you should also be able to interact. And that interaction has been driving online engagement now for about uh, 10 to 12 years. Many uh, private sites have come and gone. Some social media became prominent at some point of time and then they died out. New ones emerged and took their place. So it's always better that uh, if we are trying to use a social media kind of an approach for the government, then in that case, uh, we should have our own site. And uh, since many of the other prominent sites are also uh, multinational sites, they are located outside of India. So uh, retaining all the inputs that uh, the people of the country are giving to us is something which is very important. And therefore, we should be looking at uh, having our own site. And this is the idea with which uh, MyGov uh, was born in 2014. The principle that we follow here, the, the overarching uh, vision statement that we have, if you, if you look at your screens, you'll see that uh, we are talking about a participatory digital democracy. So that's one important element. Leveraging technology, yes, of course, to enable citizens to contribute their ideas and efforts for nation building. So all of what we are doing is to involve people in the process of nation building and then transforming these ideas into action and also acknowledging and recognizing the people who have given these contributions. And, and I'm uh, pretty uh, happy to share this thought with you that over the last uh, almost three years, there've been a large number of people who have participated in various activities and given their thoughts and contributions and who have also been adequately recognized. And uh, the process is going on. It's an ongoing process as, as we uh, grow uh, in the years to come this activity only will get further scaled up. Just to give you an idea of the numbers, MyGov, the website itself is uh, free to view. And by free to view, what we mean is that unlike some of the other social media sites, you don't need to be necessarily logged in to see whatever is happening on MyGov. 
you can come you can browse you can hunt around different pages and you can surf and uh, read whatever is there if you need to participate if you think that you have something to share you want to contribute a thought or or maybe a creation of yours then in that case you will need to register and log in so there are uh, about 42 lakh plus people who are registered users of mygov who have who have logged in registered onto the site but there are also uh, another maybe about 2 to 2 and a half crore people on top of it who have visited the site and looked around so we have a unique uh, user views of more than 2 2 and a half crore out of which about uh, 42 lakh people have uh, registered onto the site and uh, lakhs of uh, submissions uh, in in the discussions and the tasks that we've been doing mygov's activities are broadly divided into Uh, some sectors, and uh, I'll be touching upon each of them very, very briefly as we go along. But uh, to think about uh, MyGov, you need to just understand, and uh, maybe the simple recall uh, phrase would be the three Ds of MyGov. These are do, discuss, and disseminate. Do means you have to share some activity. Discuss, share your thoughts about uh, something that the government is doing, and disseminate. where we recognize whatever has come in from your side and come back to you and tell you what has happened after you shared your thoughts and ideas with us the simplest uh, kind of do activities that we've been doing over the years is uh, many kinds of designs logos and name contests and for a very large number of uh, programs uh, which have been launched by the government of india in the last 3 years the names the logos the taglines have come out of the contribution of people like you who have uh, shared their ideas with us and uh, which have been accepted at the highest levels and have now become absolutely the face of these programs in the top line on your screens you will see there are a large number of logos of very very prominent uh, government programs so we have uh, swachh bharat and digital literacy mission jan dhan yojana digital india the common thread among all of these logos is that uh, these logos were not designed in house in the government they were not designed by an agency these were designed by people sitting in different parts of the country these are people who are private citizens who really have nothing to do with the government but who uh, took the opportunity took the challenge got their creative juices flowing and submitted uh, these uh, logos to us which uh, then subsequently got approved uh, by the government and are now used as the official logos for these programs similarly we have of course uh, a number of other programs the basic structure of the ek bharat shreshth bharat the e greetings is a very interesting uh, thing that uh, we've been doing but i i think i'll talk a little bit about it uh, slightly later in the presentation Uh, we also have done innovate contests and uh, with department of science and technology with many private partners like intel like texas instruments and uh, very recently a very large uh, national level hackathon contest working together with, with the ministry of hrd which was known as the smart india hackathon and many of you in fact uh, for those of you who who would have probably joined us from uh, some of the educational institutions some of you may even have participated in it and uh, more than 42000 students from across the country participated and gave their uh, solutions out of which some of those solutions are now currently being uh, adopted by different ministries uh, for uh, further implementation the second level of activity as i said was the discuss set of activities and these are uh, areas where either a policy or a uh, a policy document or a policy question is phrased and framed by the government and uh, put out onto the site for people to give their comments one of the most uh, famous examples uh, here of course is the prime minister's monthly radio address man ki baat for which uh, people from across the country have been giving us lots of ideas lots of suggestions uh, not only are these 1 lakh ideas that you see that number over there these these are the numbers that have been received on the website itself but in addition we also provide a, a toll free number where people who are not very comfortable with technology can simply call up and record their message and some of the best messages are subsequently uh, forwarded to the prime minister's office and uh, you must have also heard that pm sometimes plays many of these messages uh, or reads out these messages in the course of his uh, radio speech in uh, along the same lines uh, whether it is new education policy smart cities the union budget for many of these activities uh, and and multitude of 
policies across uh, different ministries, we have received lakhs of comments and submissions from people across the country. And the ministries have taken these into consideration when they are uh, finalizing their respective policies. <coughs> The third element uh, that uh, we were talking about is about dissemination. And uh, in dissemination, uh, as, as many of you uh, would understand, the dissemination essentially is the process of sharing information about uh, what we've been doing. And we again use a multiple methodologies to be able to share uh, these informations with people. So when it comes to the activities uh, performed on MyGov and uh, some of these ideas or thoughts having been accepted by the government, we put them out as blogs. We also send out uh, specific uh, blogs on specific subjects. We write articles on various things. And uh, we also present the information in a user-friendly format uh, through eBooks, through, uh, through, through uh, infographics, and uh, also citizen testimonial videos where people who have benefited from some government programs can also write into us or uh, maybe record a video of their own and send it across to us. And we put it out on the site so that the other people can see how people across the country are benefiting from the initiatives of the government of India. MyGov is not just a single website. It's, it's a complete ecosystem. And there are a large number of microsites that we operate uh, within MyGov. Transformingindia.mygov.in is uh, one of the uh, major things that we've been doing for the last uh, slightly over a year. This is a website which specifically provides information about the initiatives of the government of India and the achievement made against uh, these various programs, whether it is through graphics, whether it is through articles, or whether it is through uh, even uh, uh, citizen testimonial videos. Uh, we also provide uh, for a survey site where uh, some ministries have conducted surveys to collect information from the people. E-greetings, as I mentioned, is an attempt to encourage people to stop sending out paper-based greeting cards and uh, rather use uh, electronic cards to send out their uh, greetings and best wishes to their friends and colleagues. And I'm happy to say that literally crores of times uh, these cards have been sent uh, using this site, which is a free site, there is no charge for anything. And it's not only restricted to government officials, but anybody can come onto the e-greeting site and start using it. What's interesting about all the greeting cards, there are, I think, more than 700 uh, greeting cards that are available on the site, but none of these cards have been designed by us. It's been people like you who have uh, given their uh, creative ideas and uh, the best of those cards have been selected and put onto the site. So it's actually an opportunity for uh, you to showcase your talent in terms of design or graphics and uh, help other people also to use your creative ideas for sharing their good wishes. I've already spoken about the innovation platform, uh, which is available on innovate.mygov.in. Uh, there are currently uh, two or three different uh, innovate challenges that are going on. The Oil and Natural Gas Commission, ONGC, is running one innovation uh, challenge right now. And there's a railway challenge which has just concluded a few days back where uh, many uh, thousands of people have given their thoughts about uh, some of the suggested improvements in the railway system. Uh, I've already talked about blogs. Uh, on the Swachh Bharat side, again, as you are you're familiar that uh, Swachh Bharat is one of the uh, very prominent programs of the government of India. And uh, the Swachh Bharat microsite provides you an opportunity to do a few things. One is uh, that you can take the Swachhta pledge. So if you've not already taken the Swachhta pledge, well, this is an opportunity. Go to the site, take the pledge and commit yourself to the cause of clean India. You can also put out uh, videos and uh, photographs of the activities that you have done with regard to Swachh Bharat. So if you, your friends, colleagues, neighbors, family, if you've done some cleaning up activities in, in some area, then uh, click the photos, uh, take some videos, put it out, let everybody see what is the kind of work that you've been doing. In addition to this, just a few days back, we started with this uh, new pledge for uh, waste segregation. As you're aware that under the Swachh Bharat mission, the government of India has been uh, talking about uh, doing a waste, uh, doing a wet and dry waste segregation. And uh, you must have seen the TV advertisements also and the newspaper ads, uh, which have the which have talked about the blue and the green uh, waste uh, bins that are being installed in different parts of the country. So uh, you can take up that activity at home as well. And you can also take uh, the segregation pledge on the Swachh Bharat site uh, as well. 
we've also done a lot of talks and uh, in fact this webinar that we are doing is also being simultaneously broadcast uh, on on two uh, channels one is uh, the uh, lms channel of uh, negd itself but is also being concurrently broadcast on mica and uh, a very large number of prominent people on uh, from 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 various fields have come on to this uh, talks platform you see here some of the uh, talks uh, with some very senior uh, uh, union ministers uh, who have addressed uh, the people and also taken questions from them on issues of governance and the way that uh, the things that their ministries are doing but in addition to this uh, experts from various fields uh, for example education for instance have have come on to the talks platform and uh, inform people about the different things that are happening and this was uh, done quite a lot at the time of the new education policy we also uh, brought in uh, experts from various cities and senior officials from various municipal corporations uh, when they were preparing uh, their plans for the uh, smart cities uh, mission so at that time they also organized a large number of talks and took direct feedback from the citizens of their cities so that the smart cities plans that were being prepared by the municipal corporations were reflective of the citizen opinion in those cities we also have a, a mobile app uh, for the mygov uh, site itself as well as uh, there is a swachh bharat app there is also a prime minister's office app that was created as part of a contest run on mygov and the pm himself uh, last year launched that app uh we also have uh, two more apps one is uh, around the idea of innovation uh, uh, around uh, these uh, i'm sorry i just lost track we have uh, we have uh, a volunteer app where people who are interested in uh, the activities uh, pertaining to contributing to what schools in their area are doing so that is called the mygo move app which is also available and these are all apps uh, which are currently only android but the Uh, iOS and other versions are under development in the next few days uh, you will find uh, that the iOS versions for these uh, apps are also being made available to you in addition to this mygov runs uh, two other uh, programs one is called e sampark and e sampark is essentially the government's messaging platform which we used to send out information to the people about the various initiatives of the government so those of uh, you who come to the site and see those information of course you are fairly well aware of uh, uh, what uh, dissemination activities that we are doing but for those of you who are not coming to the site we still reach out to you we will still uh, try to send out regular mailers to you where uh, the information about activities being done by the government is included in addition to this we also send out sms messages to people uh, short messages which tell them about some of the prominent initiatives of the government and typically these messages also contain a web link so that uh, those of you who are interested can always click through and come to our site and see uh, what is happening and the second is uh, of course e greetings that i have just talked about so i will not spend uh, too much time on this but now coming back to the latest uh, initiative that we've done in the last uh, few days as you are aware that uh, the union government has recently completed the uh, 3 years uh, on the 26th of may and we launched a specific micro site uh, which is uh, known as 3years.mygov.in <clears throat> and on this website specific information about the activities done by the government in the last 3 years is included in the form of uh, several themes on your screens you will see that on the right hand side there is a vertical bar so there are 11 themes there with a number of sub themes included there and if you click at any of those you will get to see a lot of information presented uh, very very simply in uh, graphics form and also in the form of a downloadable book where you can uh, glance through it at your leisure and everybody of course has a different uh, perspective on life everybody has uh, different areas of interest but uh, government is an is a very large overarching kind of an entity so therefore uh, there is something for everybody i would uh, strongly urge you to visit this site and uh, take a look at the various graphics and make yourself familiar uh, with what your government has been doing and uh, maybe download the book and you can also share it uh, with your friends but in addition to this there's a lot of other interactive uh, Uh, things that you can do on this site if you look at the left hand side of your screens 
uh, you will see there are a large number of links there. You can log in into the site using your own uh, MyGov ID. If you've not created your MyGov ID, we'll help you create one. Otherwise, using your Facebook or LinkedIn or Google or GitHub or Twitter, any of these five IDs, you can directly log in uh, through a social media login facility that we do provide there. The section on the Voice of India contains citizen testimonials, people who benefited uh, from various government programs. Just below that, you will see a section called Quiz Wiz. And this Quiz Wiz section essentially is an opportunity for us to test your knowledge or actually an opportunity for yourself to test your knowledge. We've got a large question bank about things that the government has been doing, presented very, very simply as uh, multiple choice questions. So to go through those. Last year's quiz, we saw about 70,000, 72,000 people participate. And the best performing few people got the opportunity to come to one of our programs where they were they received, in fact, their certificates from the Honorable Prime Minister himself. So who knows, maybe a few months down the line, we may see you here as well, if you really perform very well in this quiz. The section below that uh, is uh, on the Modi festivals, as again, you are aware that a large number of uh, district level programs are being organized across the country where information about uh, the work uh, being done by the government is being told to people in, in on-ground festivals. So you can visit this section and you can see if there's a program being organized in your city and uh, then you can participate there. And even in case the program is already over, you can still take a look at the photographs uh, or the videos, whichever may be have been shot at the time of the event and uh, uh, familiarize yourself with whatever is happening. The next element there is uh, the New India Championship. And this New India Championship is something that uh, we would like to invite all of you to participate, not only you, but your family, your friends, kids, neighbors, whoever that uh, you can uh, tell about. This has uh, multiple ways by which uh, you can uh, participate uh, depending on the areas of your interest. As you might have heard in the news media sometime back, our uh, Honorable Prime Minister has given a vision that he wants to create a new India. He wants to work together with everybody to create a new India. And his concept of a new India is something where everybody need not necessarily be an all-rounder but people should contribute as per their abilities and their uh, abilities to create a society which is uh, progressive, which is prosperous, and which is totally inclusive. So some of the thoughts uh, that we have taken uh, from the Prime Minister's speeches and created activities around them, one of the activities is uh, about referring the Bheem app. You must have heard the Honorable Prime Minister had launched uh, the Bheem app as the digital payment solution backed by the government of India on the 30th of uh, December last year in a program uh, that was organized at the Tal Katoda Stadium in New Delhi. So the government, uh, the Ministry of Electronics and IT has recently, in fact, launched two other schemes. And these schemes are uh, called the uh, referral uh, bonus as well as the cashback schemes. So if you use Bheem and if you encourage others to use Bheem, the benefit will be yours. You will, of course, get all the advantages of using a very wonderful app uh, like Bheem for doing your digital transactions. But you can also get bonus amounts if others are encouraged by you to use Bheem. But in addition to that, if you refer people to use Bheem and they use your uh, reference to download and install Bheem, not only will you get the cash awards, which are there as part of the ministry's program, but you also get bonus points on the New India Championship. So the largest possible number of your friends, you just have to feed in your uh, friends' names, email address, and mobile number. And we will send a notification with the Bheem link to them. When they start using Bheem, if they accept and if they use your number as the person who had uh, referred Bheem to them, then you will get some additional points from our side as well. There's one request or demand that keeps coming in from uh, large parts of the country. And uh, that is that the government of India websites are typically not available in multiple languages. Specifically, the sites are available in uh, English and uh, frequently in Hindi, but not always. 
but uh, availability of central government websites across different languages we have 22 scheduled languages in india so making the sites available to people in tamil or bangla or odia or uh, nagamese is something that uh, has not happened so far working together with cdac pune uh, the center for development of advanced computing uh, we have uh, developed this solution where statements and phrases taken from multiple websites across the government of india will be flashed on your screen and if you have if if you have uh, the knowledge of any language other than english or hindi you can translate these and submit your entry there your entries will be then evaluated by a panel of validators that have been appointed by cdac pune and if your uh, translation is found to be correct you get additional points on myga and uh, the people who contribute the most across these different languages not only will be earning points for themselves but they will also be doing a huge favor to the people across the country especially in their states or people who share their mother tongue that these people who may not be so familiar with english or hindi would then be able to see the government of india websites in their own mother tongue so the outreach the availability the accessibility of indian government websites will increase phenomenally in a very very short time but to be able to do this we need your help so for those of you who cannot type in their mother tongue for instance uh, i cannot my mother tongue is hindi but i cannot type in hindi i somehow never learned how to type in hindi but uh, even for such people no need to be disheartened you can have an on screen keyboard that on screen keyboard is available as part of our go translate activity and uh, just have to select a sentence select the language in which you want to participate the on screen keyboard is available to you so just point your mouse click and your connection will be uh, your uh, uh, translation will be recorded onto the site and we would be able to then subsequently examine it and see that if your correction is okay then it will be then pushed on to the main site itself in addition to this um from 26th of may the date when the central government completed 3 years till 26th of july which is when mygov will complete 3 years this new india championship will continuously provide you a large number of activities of the day there would be quizzes there would be on ground activities there would be essay competitions so on the screen that you see here you can see there are activities of the day and uh, on on every day we will actually then put out a new activity where people can participate people are good at different things some people are good at drawing some people are good at uh, writing some people are good at doing on ground activities some people could be good at translation some could be very very persuasive people who are able to get other people to do certain things that they want them to do so whether it is uh, sending out a reference for mygov to your friends and colleagues and if they accept you get credit points for that you can do a bheem reference if they accept you get credit points for that you do translations you get points you participate in quizzes you submit drawings designs logos there are a whole range of activities that will keep going on here for the next 2 months or so so uh, with this i think broadly i come to the end of uh, my presentation this presentation of course you will make available on the lms uh, i suppose so we are uh, 35 minutes into the presentation i managed to broadly cover all that i wanted to share and uh, we would now be able to take maybe about four five questions and then wrap up for the day Okay, Doctor Piyush Gupta. Doctor Piyush Gupta has uh, asked, "What is the percentage of active participation from rural India, and is there any participation from outside India also?" Well, out of the forty-two lakh uh, plus registered users that we have on Myga, we have about three uh, to four percent of the users were from outside India. This number, of course, is variable. and uh, many times uh, the people from outside of india who, who may simply be following the 
things that are going on but not necessarily participate but uh, we do have a specific forum a specific group on uh, on migra about uh, people from outside of india whether they are nris or whether they are uh, people who are just interested in india and 3 to 4% of our total users are uh, from from outside the physical territory of india but uh, from their side we do get a fair amount of uh, participation as well and uh, i would think that uh, a web based platform necessarily is not uh, restricted by geographical constraints the second uh, part of your question is about rural india and uh, on this side we do understand that uh, there is a fair uh, constraint in terms of uh, three things where uh, rural india is concerned the first is of course connectivity itself that if internet connectivity is not available then naturally people cannot participate on a web based platform and the other two elements are about uh, the availability of devices as well as uh, the digital literacy itself now uh, you would be of course familiar with the digital india program of the government of india which is trying to address all three things it's about the connectivity it's about uh, infrastructure it's about services on demand and of course uh, digital empowerment and digital literacy so as time goes by as the rural areas do get connectivity and uh, are able to then also have uh, cheap affordable devices which are manufactured in india and uh, also benefit from uh, the digital literacy programs like pm disha program which is being run by our ministry so the number of people participating from rural areas will increase over a period of time but at the same time uh, we are not uh, necessarily bound only to the internet as i mentioned some time back that we do have uh, a toll free number and uh, if you come to our site you can uh, take a look at uh, the uh, numbers you can see uh, you you can call in and uh, record your views about uh, man ki baat and uh, we will take them into consideration in addition to that there is also another toll free number called 1922 and using 1922 you can call in and you can listen to the last uh, episode of the man ki baat in multiple indian languages so even people who do not have direct access to the internet or people who are not so comfortable with technology are able to participate in at least some of the activities on migra when we run polls on uh, different subjects so people can also register their vote about that particular poll over sms so a few things we've already done but again uh, site is always work in uh, progress it's all, always under development so something or the other will always be new and we will always take your ideas into consideration when we create new features and facilities next question please navin chauhan has asked uh, that the government should develop a healthy network of students where talented students can share their knowledge with other students residing at remote locations this will really help a weak or average student to grow and achieve a good result certainly it's a very good idea there are uh, of course already several private platforms which provide for such uh, discussion forums uh, to be created uh, we do not have a similar system uh, within the government of india at this point of time but it's certainly an idea worth consideration and we'll certainly think about it next question alok mishra asks us is there a place where the credit system details can be explained uh asking from smd maharashtra okay alok uh, i would simply suggest that you come to our site you will find the link to the 3 year 3 year championship uh, come to mygov.in the first banner that you see on the site will lead you to the 3 year uh, site otherwise you can simply type in 3 years.mygov.in come to the site and there in the terms and conditions section of the new india championship you can find the entire details of the credit system and uh, then of course i hope that you are asking this not only because you want to increase your general knowledge but you actually do want to participate yourself so i look forward to your participation on this side mm, next question is from vinith gaur and he says how to promote this app to be used by common man some incentives can be attached so that participation is increased well uh, there are two aspects to your question and i would uh, i would like to emphasize that both are equally important there are certain activities where uh, some sort of uh, cash incentive may be necessary because the amount of effort that goes into creating a submission is uh, so high that uh, it must be acknowledged and remunerated 
so for many of the logo design contests or uh, programs of a similar nature where literally hours or days of effort is required we do provide for some cash incentives we in fact uh, on behalf of ministry of defense we had run uh, this global contest for designing a national war memorial and uh, the uh, war museum in new delhi but this was a very specific contest which was aimed at people with expertise in architecture or town planning or landscaping and uh, these uh, had prizes uh, in the range of several thousand dollars but at the same time the idea behind mygov is uh, essentially about our love for our country and uh, i think each of our uh, submissions onto the site need not necessarily be only because uh, we want a cash uh, remuneration for it but rather because uh, we love our country and there is something that we feel uh, that we can contribute to our country to make it a better place for everybody so while for some activities there will always be prizes but uh, from our side uh, our attempt is to appeal to your sense of uh, patriotism your sense of commitment to your country and your willingness to share your capabilities and your expertise for the betterment of everybody who lives in india so as i said there are two elements there will be some cash incentives available from some time to time but most of the time uh, we would want you to participate here because you love your country your next question manjit nath uh, asks us are the calls at toll free numbers using speech to text technology not yet not yet because there are a large number of constraints uh, when it comes to languages across india as i mentioned some time back that we have literally dozens of languages and hundreds of dialects across the country so this uh, speech to text technology is currently evolving but uh, it's still not available for many indian languages and uh, when somebody calls uh, Uh, typically the person expects to speak only in the language he or she is most comfortable in so till such time as uh, we are very confident that we would be able to uh, accurately transcribe the spoken text into uh, the written form we uh, will still uh, have to consider when we want to implement this speech to text technology brahmanand rath asks us how to create awareness about mygov for the students on different level well we tweet we write out uh, we 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 post on uh, facebook there are uh, from time to time newspaper articles there were a very large number of uh, students in colleges across the country who had participated in uh, what was known as the vishakha initiative of the ministry of hrd the vittiya sakshartha abhiyan as part of the digital payments initiative of the government of india and there were about 4 and 1/2 lakh uh, participants uh, volunteers vishakha volunteers whose uh, contact details were available with the ministry of hrd so in fact only yesterday we've sent out a mailer to all these vishakha volunteers but uh, it's not limited only to them so if since we are also being broadcast on the nkn network so uh, students uh, faculty members uh, other uh, educationists from different uh, institutions do tell uh, the students in your uh, uh, institution about mygov and encourage them to visit the site and i'm sure they'll find something that they want to participate in uh, we have time for uh, okay we will probably have time for another 5 minutes or so to take some more questions um let's see just scroll up and down please Okay, Murli Dharan uh, Manigal asks: Are there any plans to onboard Digi Sevak directly onto Mygov? We have a good number of volunteers enrolled as part of outreach and NSS uh, Digital India workshops. Uh, well, I mean, uh, there are, as I said, that there are many different uh, initiatives that the government of India has been undertaking. There, there may be at some point of time some overlap on the activities uh, there. but uh, for those of you who are interested in uh, participating on what is what what is happening on mygov i would suggest you can uh, come and uh, visit mygov anyway and you can uh, enroll in both places the broad objectives of uh, 
specific portals may be slightly different. So what the DigiSaber portal is doing is not necessarily exactly the same as what is happening on MyGA, but do visit both sites and contribute both ways. Um, your next question, Prakash Sahu asks us, MyGov should have presence in Quora and should answer citizens' questions on various schemes and implementations. Well, uh, as I said that uh, MyGov is a platform which is uh, government-wide and uh, the information that we share on MyGov is uh, largely made available by the different ministries of the government of India. So we try to have a setup uh, where ministries regularly share information about their achievements and initiatives with us. And that's what we put out there. But the specific domain expertise to answer questions pertaining to specific programs resides with that ministry itself. So in, in that sense, MyGov is not there to supplant or to replace uh, a ministry website, but to supplement it. So the engagement part uh, in terms of uh, discussions and all, we do take care of it. If you have specific queries uh, related to specific ministries, I would say that the best option for you still remains to visit that ministry's website to find the most uh, detailed information or maybe scheme guidelines and uh, other information which is not available on MyGov. And you will also find a contact us section on uh, all Government of India websites where specific queries can be addressed to that ministry itself. Um, Koshik Day is asking uh, a specific question about setting up the state instance. I think that's a question which is not relevant for everybody. So Koshik, uh, maybe we can have a word about it offline. You can always uh, call me at my office and uh, we can uh, talk about it. Um, the next question, Arun Kalbele from Balaghat uh, would like to know, is there a plan to have a portal where resources, especially IT trained people from different segments of IT can be mobilized? A kind of a portal or an app or just as a volunteer? That's an interesting idea. We'll certainly think about it. But uh, in addition to this, I would uh, suggest that you keep a lookout uh, at the Department of uh, uh, Industrial Policy and Promotion, the DIPP, which is coming up with a startup hub very shortly. And uh, this would be able to maybe provide some sort of a resource for you where in case you are interested in setting up your own startup or uh, establishing your own unit, then a lot of information uh, will be available there and you can, you can make use of that. Uh, next. Uh, there's a question about Maharashtra somewhere. Okay, Manjit Nath is asking us uh, that uh, we have started MyGov instances in uh, different states and uh, other instances are not witnessing much activity. Are they using separate hardware? Well, uh, the level of interaction uh, at MyGov depends very substantially, of course, on the uh, owners of these different pages and uh, different states have their own uh, uh, ways of seeking uh, public inputs. But uh, MyGov as a platform is available to all states. And uh, I would uh, think that over a period of time, as the concept of citizen engagement itself percolates into governance uh, very deeply, we will find that uh, many more uh, states across the country uh, would be a part of the MyGov ecosystem and would be able to seek and source public inputs for uh, uh, various kinds of governance activities. Any other questions? Okay, Alok Mishra. Uh, Alok Mishra says, "Is there a NASCOM? There is a NASCOM portal that registers IT professionals. Can something uh, be made available in that nature for professionals across all states? We've seen the uh, NASCOM uh, portal, but uh, you must also maybe give us uh, some benefit of account, on account of our relative youth." Uh, these are all uh, initiatives uh, which have existed for decades. MyGov has been around uh, barely for three years and uh, we, we've done a fair amount. But of course, there's a long way to traverse and uh, such ideas uh, coming from you like this uh, NASCOM portal are interesting thoughts and we'll certainly consider them uh, later. Uh, any final question? MyGov as a government's uh, flagship 
media platform may have a sentiment analysis tool well uh, sentiment analysis is something that uh, we are considering we, we are already working on it and uh, it's it's a complicated exercise uh, simply because uh, of the nature of the government's activities such a such a wide uh, scope and range of activities that is very difficult to really set up a tool if, if you're familiar with the such tools then you would know that these tools take a lot of customization and a lot of uh, configuration before the output reports are uh, really reflective of the actual sentiment which is being analyzed so this is again a work in progress but uh, shortly i think we should have something uh, uh, more to report uh, when we meet next uh, maybe a few months down the line so i think with that i have come to the end of my allotted time uh, we spent about 50 minutes together if you have any further questions you can always write in and we'll try to answer your questions uh, as we go along thank you so thank, thank you very much sir this is a wonderful and excellent session i hope the participants have enriched with the knowledge of uh, the government's initiative on my gov and uh, all the question uh, the for the participants uh, all the questions may not be answered these questions will be uh, we segregate all these questions we get a reply from the mygo team and we'll publish in the form of uh, from the mygo website as well as in the kms portal and also we published the uh, polls please uh, give a rating on the polls also it will be useful to uh, us to improve our quality and the webinar we deliver to thank you very much for making your time and uh, taking part in the wonderful session i also thank gaurav sir despite his busy schedule and he made out his time for us thank you very much sir we look forward for uh, much more sessions from you thank you very much